We head over to South Africa now, where a Cape Town hospital has successfully completed the first incompatible kidney transplant in Africa. The procedure was done on a 35-year-old woman who was suffering from kidney failure, and the organ was donated by her younger brother. The kidney transplant was made possible by using life-saving glycosorb ABO medical filters that allow patients to get a kidney donation without having a compatible blood type. CGTS Travis Andrews has more on that story. Kuniski Hospital in Cape Town, South Africa is a pioneer in the field of medicine. It's where the world's first heart transplant was conducted in 1967 and now where Africa's first incompatible kidney transplant has been successfully done. The procedure was conducted on 35-year-old Siobhan Mayer who was suffering from kidney failure and was undergoing dialysis for the last 10 years. Doctors used a glycosorb ABO medical filter which eliminates antibodies which trigger the rejection of donated organs transplanted in patients. Normally when we, when we prep a patient or we look at potential donors for a transplant, we check the blood group. That's the first thing, they need to be blood group compatible. Otherwise, if we did transplant that organ, it would reject immediately, within minutes really. So um, what, what we now can do is even if they are blood group compatible um, and there's no other blood group compatible uh, donors available or they... You know, they've been maybe long on the waiting list, or they don't want to wait for a deceased donor, which can wait, you know, you can wait years sometimes for a deceased donor kidney transplant, then we can go ahead and, and, and look at uh, using these blood group incompatible donors. The medical technology will now allow the more than 1,900 people undergoing renal dialysis and more than 500 people awaiting a kidney transplant in Cape Town province get access to better medical care. For Siobhan, the kidney donation from a brother has given a new lease of life and a better clinical outcome. It's changed my life so much that I can finally go and work, provide for my kids. I don't have to come in for dialysis three times a week. I don't have to look for traveling. I don't have to, to beg anyone for food or for anything. I am now able to be healthy and go and work for my children. For now, the hospital says this procedure and technology is more expensive than the conventional one but it's much safer and offers a better quality of life for patients. The procedure was once deemed too risky to even attempt, but now with the glycosorb ABO medical filter, healthcare workers are able to make it far more safer and address the huge backlog of people waiting for kidney transplants in the province, some as long as 10 years. That was Andrew CGTN, Cape Town.